Hey y'all, this is my buddy Dave. Along with his friend Shane, they trailered this Cuckfee all the way from Connecticut to wheel in Moab at this year's Blazer Bash. He's built a very capable truck with a lot of choice upgrades and attention to detail. And he was kind enough to walk us through the truck and tell us a bit of the story about this build. This thing started off as a CUCV, 1984. Uh, it's an M1008. Came with a Detroit locker in the rear. It comes with a 14 bolt in the rear, Dana 60 up front, 456 gears. So right, right, right off the bat, we got a pretty good, uh, pretty good platform. And I got tired of the old 62, so I decided to drop a uh, 98 P pump 12 valve in there with a NV4500. Now there are a lot of come and swapped Chevys out there, but few are executed quite as cleanly. So the truck's got plenty of power. I did a off-road design six inch lift. It's got uh, their custom front springs and rear springs. And we just put those in as we got here in the gravel parking lot. So that was an adventure in its own. This is awesome. You drove all the way, where'd you drive from? Connecticut. Connecticut. Yep. Yeah, practically, practically England, almost just, I mean, just a short little, you know, ferry ride to England. <laughs> yep. You drove all the way across the country, yep. trailered it. Just to drive on some rocks with you. Yeah. We took the truck apart in the gravel parking lot, jacked her up, swapped the springs out. Uh, we got it done pretty quick. Picked up my girlfriend from the airport, and then we started wheeling on Thursday. Uh, yeah, Thursday. Yes. Yeah. I literally took this thing from the driveway out to Moab, Utah, and uh, this is probably my favorite part right here. This seat was done by my aunt. She's a seamstress, and uh, I picked out the camo. I knew what I wanted, and uh, she cut out the seat for me, put new, new foam in there from USA One Industries, and uh, this seat came out pretty awesome. Yeah. Everybody? So in terms of like the things that you learned through this process, because you didn't just, you know, you didn't just do the engine swap, you did a whole drivetrain. You've got the 4500 and a 205, so you've really gone through the entire truck. Oh yeah. What are the things that like you took away during the process? So in the beginning, I knew I wanted a, a lifted rig. I knew I wanted a little more power, but really from being from the East Coast, everything is rusty, real rusty. So this thing was orange underneath. Everything was, everything was orange. It was, it had seen better days. So everything came off, the cab came off, front clip, motor came out. I had this thing down to just the frame, literally just the frame and the cab. We had this, I had, I had the frame sandblasted, axle sandblasted. This thing was restored before it was uh, yeah. built, so. So you ran it with the 6.2 in a restored fashion yep. and then pulled. Yeah, I drove it for a year. I drove oh, it for really? a year, I loved it, but it just wasn't enough for me. And yeah. I really love the, the, I love the build. I'm almost bored now because it's done, so. Yeah, I know. We'll I know see exactly what's coming what next. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. The build, the build can be a lot of fun, very rewarding in its yeah. own way. Uh, and then you get to the using, and, and it's still fun and enjoyable. But it's the whole experience for sure. Making for it sure. So tell me a little bit about the sliders that you've got. These sliders these came. These sliders I saw on a truck in one of the magazines there, and uh, they're from Rockhound Off Road. He's based out of California. They are some serious sliders. I knew as soon as I saw them that I had to have a set. So here have they are. Have you tagged them at all? Oh no, I don't think so. Yet? I don't think so. We got a lot of ground clearance on this thing. Yeah, yeah. So. And I mean, 37s? 37s, brand new Nittos yeah. on uh, race, line, race line bead locks. So before I came out here, I did the, the Yukon hubs, new wheels and tires, and these rock sliders. And I gotta say, and the leaf springs. Everything put together, it just works so well. It's it's incredible. I think when you and we put it to the test this this weekend. So oh yeah, for sure. So you know fins and things. Y'all ran fins and things yep. on Thursday. Fins and things. And that's a good like proving trail. Just make sure all your yeah. stuff works. Yeah. Hells has got a lot of nice slow flexing, so you can see clearance. And then out here on Flat Iron Mesa, it's a little bit more technical. Yep. I think this this is done extremely well. You're you've followed me most of the time, and I think your wheelbase is like within. I think I'm a little bit shorter than you, right? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. It worked. It worked out well. So I assume you built this whole thing in like a real nice, fancy shop. Oh um, yeah, with, oh with yeah. With a lift, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, air, nope. um, a staff. So tell me about what you did to build this. Let's see, I was, uh, I'm 26 now. I bought the truck when I was 22, 21. 
The truck was bone stock. I built it in my parents' driveway. It was outside in the winter. Nothing got done during the winter because it was snowing. I'd wait till springtime, snow would clear. We'd start working on it again. I think the last, last leg of the build was in my buddy's garage. We did a lot of the wiring and uh, all the little, little stuff, but came out really well for being a, a driveway built rig. And it just shows that anybody could do this. This is cool, man. I, I, I'm so glad you came. Yeah. Uh, it's been good getting to know you. And uh, thanks for uh, twisting my arm to get out here. I didn't have to twist it that hard. <laughs> I, you you kind of, I think, maybe wanted to go from the start. Yeah, I did. Like, asked a couple, you know, can I do this trail? And it's, oh, yeah. Yeah, my junk can go do that. Absolutely, yours can. Yep. So, this truck does extremely well. I think you built a beautiful, really and truly, like, just a, a very beautiful truck. Thank you. And um, yeah, yeah, it was good meeting you and you and your girlfriend showed. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, back bumper's gonna drag a lot.